In today's video, I'm just going to do a quick before and after get ready with me using some products that I've already owned. I think one of them might be new, but other than that, um, these are all products that I just kind of dug out of my stash. Hey everyone, this is Lisa. Welcome to my YouTube channel, Lisa Monique, where we cover all things beauty and lifestyle for the over 50 woman. So I am traveling for a couple of weeks and I'm going to be doing a lot of travel vlogs, but I thought I would pre-film uh, just a few beauty videos to intersperse uh, throughout the month. So let's go ahead and get started. I am going to pull my bangs. I need to get my bangs cut before I leave because they're not going to last <laughs> out of my eyes for a month. Uh, okay, first thing I'm going to do is prep my skin. It's fairly recently moisturized. It doesn't feel very dry or anything, but I am going to put some of the Charlotte Tilbury Glow Toner on. I kind of like the way this feels. <laughs> Lately, I've been using it a lot. It's kind of like getting a sponge wet before you start applying your makeup. So I just want to make sure my skin cells are extra plump before I start. Okay, so I have not used my Wayne Goss in a while. I love the Wayne Goss uh, Luxury Cream Foundation. And so that's what I'm going to do today. I'm going to use a flat kabuki style brush. This one is the refer number 31. I have two shades in front of me. This is the number six, which is probably going to be a good shade. And then the number five is a little bit darker. I might even mix the two. So we'll just start. Yeah, I will say the only thing about the number six is it's very cool toned. You can kind of see that it doesn't match very well. So I will kind of throw <laughs> some number five on top of it. And that's a good, I think that's a good match for me. So you really don't need a lot of the foundation. I probably have too much down here at the lower half of my face. You just need a like tap tap and then you can really blend and buff it in. But it sits really nicely on the skin. So I'm just going to take, I'm going to do opposite. I took a little, little double tap in the darker shade and then a quick bump in the lighter shade. And we'll use that on this side. Yeah, with a lot of influencer makeup that come out and everybody's talking about it and then you don't hear that much about it, but I still like my Wayne Gosh products. I like his lipsticks. I like the foundation. What else do I have? Oh, his eyeliners, they're very soft coal, but they don't dry down. So being a coal, they're not supposed to, but I prefer eyeliners that dry down. So I don't really use his eyeliners that much. Oh, I have his bronzer too. Oh, his blushes. Yeah, how could I forget his blushes? His blushes are my absolute favorite. And the pans are so humongous. I mean, really, I'm not a throw your makeup out after, you know, six months or something like that. I think I'll have those blushes for years. Okay, very nice, very natural. Love the cream makeup. Now, you don't have to stick with, you know, if you're going to use cream, everything has to be cream, but I think I'm going to do it. <laughs> so um, next I'm going to use some of this bronzer. This is um, from NARS. It's their bronzing cream in Casino. Everybody uses their, which one is it? Lagana Beach maybe, or Laguna Beach. I, I don't even know which one it is, but I have it in Casino because that other one was not dark enough for me. I'll just take a small brush. This is the BK Beauty 108. Just gonna work a little bit of product and tap it in. I 
just putting it right underneath the cheekbone. Like here's the height, the highest part of my cheekbone right here. So if you touch it, I'm just feeling that underside of the bone and that's where I'm putting it. I'm not putting it, you know, super low, like where it's covering the, you know, the, the ear or following the ear. So it's just a little bit above. Oops, put too much on that side. Wipe it off on my towel and buff it in. Maybe I need more on this side though. Maybe it was my sign to put more on. And the nice thing about cream products is if you ever feel like it is too dark, you can just go with your foundation brush over it and blend back in. Okay, I actually just realized I didn't pull a blush. So let me grab that real quick. Okay, sorry, I kept changing my mind on what blush, uh, based on my lipstick that I chose, I feel like I need to go with a cool blush. This is the um, Rare Beauty and Happy. Their soft pinch blush. I'm just gonna use the same brush wiping off the contour. Rare Beauty is super, super pigmented. I know that it's easy to put too much on. So I'm spreading it on my hand first, tapping it off on my towel, spreading it on both cheeks before I start to blend in. And so this is just really a soft baby pink. Put some on under my brow bone too. Okay, like always, because I don't wear concealer often, I forget to use a concealer, but I did want to put a little bit on my eyes. Because when I use a cream blush, I do feel like it needs to be set a little more um, on the eyes. Or when I use a cream foundation, I do feel like it needs to be set a little bit more um, for the eyes, so my eyeshadow does not move around. So I'm just going to blend this up. Hopefully this isn't too dark. It's a brand new concealer. It's from KVD. The shade could be a little dark. I just need it across my lid and this inner eye area is where my darkness is. Also down the side of my nose is where my darkness is. But Okay, so this is tan. can't read. Tan 162. It is lightweight, full coverage concealer. Good apple corrector. This is on Amazon. Just <laughs> people always ask me about my little lighted magnifying mirror. It's on Amazon. Or magnifying glass, not a mirror. Okay. So again, because it's cream makeup, I am going to lightly set it. I'm just going to use the Charlotte Tilbury uh, Flawless Finish Setting Powder. And my shade is two. And I'm just going to put a little bit over the whole face. Okay, eyeliner. I am still testing out, um, and I'm still really liking, the L'Oreal Infallible 36-hour grip liner. And this one is called Denim Brown. If it looks like I already have liner under my eyes, it's because I do, because it's hard to wash this off. So 
I have, usually have a little bit of old liner left. I like this smudge brush. It's a pretty firm little smudge brush. Um, it really just helps fill in any skips that it might have made since I have the textured eyelids. But it doesn't really, you know, blend it out to nothing. So it still keeps the line pretty much where I applied it. It just uh, kind of moves it around just a little bit. Okay, I'm going to use my Rare Beauty uh, give yourself grace palette because I do love this palette. I like big eyeshadow brushes. This is the original big eyeshadow brush that I um, first had. It's by the Perfect Face TPF Cosmetics. It's a private or a small uh, company, a makeup artist started it in Houston. And um, she was the first one to introduce me to these wide eyeshadow brushes, um, and then I since have some from Refer also, but they're dirty right now. Okay, I'm just going to go right in the middle with this rose gold shimmer. Go figure. Can't be a surprise to people that watch my channel. I know this eyeshadow is going to last all day. I love this. I love that this shimmer Still looks great at the end of the night. All right, I'm just going to flip it and go with a little bit darker plum. And then I'm just going to put it in a downward motion on that outer third. Bring it in a little bit. Flip it again to the light side again. And just kind of soften that edge. Just go back and forth till I get it even. All right, that's how I like it. Might just do a little blend. I'll just take a fluffy brush and just soften it out a little bit. Okay, that's good for daylight wear for me. Color my lashes. Whoops. And then I'm going to use the Big But Better Trio, or the Big But Better Mascara. It's a travel size from Elizabeth Mott. Oh, I wish I remembered which one I had opened already. Oh, they are sealed. Okay. I like this mascara. It's not a tubing mascara, but it does stay on. In fact, the only thing I don't like about it is when you take it off at night, it reminds me of taking off a tubing mascara because it does get a little clumpy or flaky when you remove it. But during the day, it doesn't move, it doesn't budge, it doesn't leave specks or spots underneath my eyes. So. And it doesn't uncurl my lashes. I did get this in PR though, I will tell you that. That looks good. Okay, I did not bring anything for my brows in front of me, so I will just brush them up. <laughs> Let my bangs hide the sparse areas. <laughs> 
Okay, lips. Mm, I have my City Beauty lip oil on. I, I've talked about it before, but I wear it during um, a lot during the day too. Um, and then I'm just going to, I'm going to use Lisa Eldridge. I'm going to use her beauty collection. So, oh, I don't think it's beauty. I have blush in her liner and then a beauty in the lipstick and the gloss, which is a pale pink. When I do darker lips, I do kind of try and hide my lip line down here. If I put lipstick all the way to the corner, it gives me that frown. Like you can just follow that dark lipstick all the way for that frown. So I do kind of a reshaping technique with the lip liner. I have videos on it on my website. Then use the um, Velvet Beauty. Yeah, Velvet Beauty. Before I put the gloss on, though, I am going to put a little bit of concealer. Where did I put my concealer? Where did I put the concealer? Oh, right here. It's black, so it, it blends into my black towel here. Um, I am just going to cover with a lip brush. It's a Sigma lip brush. I love this one. It's their travel one, the L05. Yeah, it's my favorite. I use it for a liner, too. It's a really good size. I'll blend that nude lip pencil in a little bit. There. Okay, and I'll put some gloss. I don't do often a bright colored lip, but I thought I would today because it's not even very summery, springy outside. It's kind of overcast, but I feel in the spring mood. Okay, here's the makeup. I could go darker on the blush, I think, but... But even though it's really pale, this soft pinch blush is going to last all day, so it's not necessarily going to fade off really fast. It's just a pale shade. All right, let me brush and fluff. I've noticed my nervous tick in all my videos, now that I'm point, going to point it out to you, now you're going to notice it too, is I fluff my hair like all the time. Like I, I talk and then I fluff and I talk and then I fluff, um, especially the bangs. But yeah, it's kind of like just a, like a pause or saying an um, um, I fluff. <laughs> so <laughs> anyways, as always, I appreciate you being here. Thank you so much for watching and we will see you next time.